It's a very anomalous object. In fact, some of the quotes in the early days of lunar studies were saying it's easier to explain why the moon shouldn't exist than why it does exist, or all theories of the lunar origin don't make sense. And so we're, we're still confronted with that. We're still, I think, struggling with this idea of how the moon came to be what it is. The moon's total mass and its assumed volume and its assumed mass and density are such that it should have settled out to this form of a sphere. The problem is, is that a sphere would have a single center of mass, a single moment of inertia, which means that it would be free to rotate on any axis. But that's not what's happening because the moon's rotation on its axis is completely and precisely locked in to its period of orbit around the Earth.